Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're Everyday CNAs. Yeah. Tomorrow is Bill of Rights Day. Did you know that? No. I didn't either until I was doing some research for the this, this show. But it's the day we celebrate the first ten amendments of the Constitution. And do you know your residence rights? Those are just as important. Yes, they are. And um, here are some of them if you don't know. The right to voice grievances without discrimination or reprisal. The right to be fully informed in advance of any charges to care plan or status of the nursing home. The right to self-determination, exercise self-determination. I imagine the one to be um, right to be fully informed of advanced changes is kind of hard during this pandemic. Oh yes, it's very hard for them, you know. Yeah. And they have the right to live without the fear of physical restraints, the right to be treated with dignity. Right, definitely. And also the right to um, privacy, the right to live in a caring environment free from abuse, mistreatment, and also neglect. Yes. The right to social con contact, interaction with fellow residents and family members. I imagine that's a hard one to stay in the guidelines as well. Yes, very hard. Yeah. The right to exercise freedom of speech and communicate freely. And I bet you they're really exercising that oh, right, they, right now. Oh, they have a lot of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they are, they are definitely speaking. Speaking they're, out. Yes. The right to receive personal care that accommodates physical, medical, emotional, and social needs. And with the pandemic, you know, we're trying to survive. We can only imagine how hard it is for the residents are for people to stay, you know, for their rights, like to keep their rights, because it's like you can't, they can't see families and, you know, their friends and like at our home, they do let you, they do FaceTime them and they do let us have our cell phones, like if we want to like go to their room, if they're having a bad day, we can go to their room and say who you want to call. So that's nice, you know. It's just different that they can't have the physical contact. They need that physical touch. They need the and hugs and they need yes. to see the smiles. They need that because that, that makes them happy. Like, like we hug them because we have on our PPE gear. Like, we, we can hug them. Like, we kind of hug them, like, sideways. We don't do con physical, but just a little touch. Just shaking their hand. Put on a glove, shake their hand. I mean, you know, we try to keep them safe, but at the same time, right. we try to let them know that we care, you know, we're still here for them. So I think that's a great thing to do. Right, exactly. So we need to do our best to stay aware of all the rights they are entitled to and should receive as well. You also need to stay aware of all the family's rights and how they are able to communicate with their loved ones. Yes, and that's another thing too. You have to be mindful of everything because some families will you know, ask you how, like, you might see them somewhere, but you can't talk about, right. you can't discuss stuff outside of the home, and you know that. So it's just hard to, like, some, they can't get up there, so you might run into them, they're like, well, hi, it's, well, you know, I'm sorry, you can call up to the home, you and you can, because that. that's their right. Like, I don't want to be in the store discussing a resident, right. you know, so. Do you think their, their mood has changed, oh, like, my as God. far as their I, behaviors? Do you think I have talked more? to a few veterans and they are very depressed and they're they're depressed because well some of them have lost their friends during this time they lost you know they can't do the activities they can't go anywhere so they're right. just they're just very and that's why i say if us coming there every day if you know we don't we don't think about it, it makes a difference right like them seeing us every day that's someone they can look forward to but if we all leave them then they they're steady losing stuff, so we have to be mindful of. And it's hard to, because you want to keep your family safe too. Right. So, but I'm glad we get tested all the time. So, you know, and I try to go to, the, like, if I have time, I try to go to the rooms and sit and talk to them. And, because everybody sure doesn't they, have they any. depend on you too, because you are, you know, a CNA is more than just a caregiver. You know, you do everything for them and you're their family as, as well when they're Yeah, and when you care when you're there for there. more than the job then it makes a difference. And right. I'm I love my job so I'm there for them. Right. And it's good to step in there five 
even five minutes, it makes a difference for them. Right. Like I had one resident watching our show. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me about it the other day. He's like, have you done any more shows? So I gave him my phone. I said, you can keep my phone down here and just, it'll keep popping up. And he was, he was watching them. So. And that, you know, that's a good thing that you do that, you know, and he's very blessed that you did that because it lets him actually see that, you know, everything is getting back to normal. Yes. You know, it may not be normal right now in their home, but it's normal and you're able to, yeah, to share get, everything. Yeah, it's that slowly getting them. better, so, yeah. you know. So during this rough time, um, we just really need to stay um, focused and remember that everyone's in the same boat. Whether it's a coworker, resident, or a family member, everyone is just really um, trying to cope and, and stay yes. healthy and, and everything. You know? Yeah, and if you're in doubt, please reach out to another staff member to explain the residents that may have a question or yourself. But try not to cross the line. You know, like I said, there's a certain line that you you right. can't just be out there telling all information. But that's true. That, that's that's very true. So if you have a question um, or a comment about today's um, show, we would love to hear from you. Uh, go and hit the like button. And um, if there's a question that you feel uncomfortable going and talking to um, a charge nurse or your director of nursing, um, even your administrator or another um, coworker, just um, reach out to us. If we do not know the answer, we will make sure that we find that answer and relay it back to you. And uh, please come back and join us um, next time on Everyday CNA.